Hello humans! So, <laughs> feminism's become a bit of a thing recently. Yes, yes, we really are talking about feminism today and I think this is a really important topic and I have a wonderful opportunity in this channel and in YouTube to be able to put my two cents into this debate. So, heck, I'm going to and all you haters can just deal with it. So, I've been a feminist since before I knew what a feminist was and that really stems back, I think, A, to my mother, who is a wonderful human being, but also to my really odd, sometimes quite irritating, deep-seated sense of justice. But to me, one of the most unjust things in the world is a human being feeling like she is less of a person or less of a contribution to society because she might one day give birth to something. Because she has two X chromosomes as opposed to one X and one Y. Some of you may be asking, well Bella, why are you a feminist? To which I would reply, why aren't you? I'm a feminist because I believe that my 79 cents to his one dollar for the same amount and quality of work is stupid and fundamentally wrong. Because I don't believe that I am weaker or more delicate because I might one day birth a child from inside of me. Which, on a side note, is the most stupid and like worst thought out argument I've ever heard. Because how is it weak for a woman to create a child inside of her, carry it around in her for nine months, and then push it out of her? That's that's not weak, that is strength. How I just don't understand. I don't understand how women can be considered the weaker sex because they create new life. And that's why I'm a feminist, with the whole life thing, but also because there is such a thing as the term the weaker sex. Because there is not equality even in the 21st century. We have been doing this for 21 centuries and we still haven't gotten it right. We still haven't kind of come to the conclusion, that necessary conclusion, that we're all equal. 21 centuries is a long time. So now you may be thinking, well Bella, why should I be a feminist? To which I would A, say, well I just kind of ranted about it. To B, I would also say, because there is not a reasonable or well-founded argument as to why you would not. Being a feminist doesn't mean that you sign a pledge or take up an oath or wear a badge or walk around the city with a placard saying feminism, vote one for women, women rock. It also doesn't mean that you hate men and everything they stand for and you're never going to marry a dude and have kids with him because you don't want him to discipline your child because that would be dominant or whatever. That's no. No. As Emma Watson quite correctly addressed in her UN speech, the biggest problem that the feminist movement is facing is the misconception that we're all man-haters. I don't hate men. I like men. I love my father. I love my guy friends. You know? I don't hate men. I don't think that men are better than me. I think that I'm equal to men because we're all human beings. People that call themselves feminists and say that women are better than men are completely not feminists at all because feminism is the belief that men and women are equal. So if you're one of those people, probably stop calling yourself a feminist because you're giving the rest of us a bad name. Sorry. But the point of being a feminist is that you are then a catalyst for gender equality. It means that if you're a girl, you don't stand for being pushed around by guys who think they're better than you. If you're a guy, it means that you don't stand for seeing girls pushed around by guys that think they're better than them. If you're a girl, it means if you want to order a steak, you go ahead and order a steak. Or maybe two. Or five. Your body, you eat what you want. If you're a guy, it means you don't judge a girl for ordering one or two or five steaks. Because steak is not exclusively a male dish. It means if you're a girl, you don't put less effort into education because you might one day become a stay-at-home mum. means if you're a guy, you don't think that women's educations are worth less because they might one day become a stay-at-home mum. Feminism. Not that difficult to understand. Treat women like strong, independent, creative, free-thinking, wonderful human beings. Treat men like strong, independent, creative, free-thinking, wonderful human beings. And there you go. There we have solved the problem that the world has been struggling with for over 21 centuries. So yeah, those are my thoughts on feminism. Actually, I should probably more say, those are just some of my thoughts on feminism. Before everyone gets angry at me that there wasn't a video last week, there was a video, um, and it's up as an unlisted video on this channel, but I can't show it to you yet because I still need to get permission from certain people that are shown in the video to be able to show you the video. So, um, there was a Wednesday video last week, just no one knew about it. I love you guys, goodbye. I totally had a script for this video, totally went off script, totally timed myself beforehand, there was going to be like four minutes long, totally went over my ten minute video limit on this camera. 
I talk so much and I don't even realize it. 